Seth Bullock, moved to Montana from Etobicoke, Ontario, to work as a marshal. He soon heard rumors about gold in Deadwood. The city of Deadwood got its name from the dead trees that grew abundantly in the narrow canyon, later named Deadwood Gulch, where the city's major streets were constructed. He moved there and decided to build a hardware business with his best friend, and longtime companion, Saul Starr. He encountered Wild Bill Hickok in the camp, when Hickok was murdered by Jack McCall, Bullock tracked him down and apprehended his killer in the Black Hills, bringing him back to Dakota for prosecution. He became the Sheriff of Deadwood after his return. He was appointed by then Governor Pennington of the Dakota Territory in March 1877. Bullock later was appointed Marshal in 1905 by President Theodore Roosevelt. Bullock and Starr's hardware store burned down in 1894. Rather than rebuild, they built Deadwood's first hotel on the site, a three-story 63-room luxury hotel, at a cost of $40,000. It had steam heat and indoor bathrooms on each floor. On the first level, the Bullock featured a restaurant that could accommodate 100 guests, and served gourmet dishes such as crab and pheasant. A big hotel lobby and office were all located near the dining room. The upstairs also contained a library and a parlor off the balcony, in addition to the elegant guest suites, the large lobby featured red velvet carpeting, brass chandeliers, oak trim, and a Steinway grand piano. On September 23, 1919, at his home located at 28 Van Buren Street in Deadwood, Seth Bullock died of cancer. He was buried atop Mount Moriah Cemetery on the high route to White Rocks. He is buried along with Wild Bill Hickok, and Calamity Jane, with his grave facing Mount Roosevelt. The burial was chosen for its view of Friendship Tower, which has now been covered by a half-century growth of ponderosa pines across the gulch. By 1976, the hotel was in desperate need of a makeover, and a new lease on life. The Bullock Hotel was owned by the Ayers family for many years before they chose to sell it. The new owners updated the building and brought it back to its former glory. Gaming returned to Deadwood in the form of limited wage gambling, in an effort to attract tourism and keep the town afloat. The people of South Dakota voted in 1989 to allow slot machine gambling in Deadwood, with the earnings going to rehabilitate old buildings and boost the town's economy. Many tourists visit Deadwood to play the slots, that can be found on the first floors of most of the buildings that line the main downtown area. Seth Bullock it is said continues to host at his favorite hotel, according to the many reports. Strange happenings have occurred at the historic hotel, according to both staff and customers. Feelings of a strong paranormal presence have been reported in a number of rooms, the second and third floor halls, Bully's restaurant, and Seth's cellar. Bullock's tall ghostly form has been seen in several locations of the hotel, including the restaurant and the basement, according to some witnesses. Seth's spirit appears to want to make sure the crew is working hard, as paranormal events tend to increase when employees stand around doing nothing, whistle or hum a tune. In the restaurant, plates and glasses have been known to shake and fly, lights and appliances have been known to turn on and off by themselves, goods have been moved mysteriously by invisible hands, and showers have been known to come on of their own volition. Items in the kitchen and restaurant have been moved by their unseen manager, who appears to have different ideas about where they go. A disembodied male voice has been heard to announce the names of staff employees. Several bar stools in Seth's cellar, the basement eating area, moved by themselves according to a staff member. Observations have been made by the cleaning crew in charge of the guest rooms. When the maids come in to clean the room, the broken clock in room 305 occasionally rings. Cleaning carts have started to move on their own. While cleaning the shower, one maid was sprayed by the shower, which had turned on by itself. Many guests have claimed being tapped on the shoulder by unseen hands, or hearing their name called out by a male voice when no one is around. Others have reported hearing whistling, and footsteps in the hallways when no one is around. Guests' personal items have been rearranged around the room, or discovered in unusual locations. Guests have reported strange occurrences in both the second and third floor rooms, including photographs that produce strange anomalies, alarm clocks that go off even when unplugged, televisions that appear to operate with unseen hands, cloudy figures seen in rooms and hallways, 
and even an antique clock that chimes on its own. The hotel is also said to have other spirits there, one is that of a young girl. She has been seen in the cellar area, which was used to isolate victims of epidemics like smallpox and typhoid. Disease outbreaks frequently killed children and the elderly. Guests have observed the ghost of the young girl who they say she is about the age of 10. In guest restrooms, toilet paper has a propensity of unrolling itself. Lights and showers have been found to turn on and off without the assistance of living beings. In recent years in the cellar, a well-known paranormal investigative group set up a camera and captured paranormal activity on film. The hotel is still open today. The historic hotel has undergone various restorations over the years to provide modern conveniences, yet it has faithfully maintained its original beauty and grandeur. Today the hotel is the most photographed structure in Deadwood, and it continues to offer the most opulent historical lodging in the area. For weddings, meetings, banquets, and more, the historic Bullock Hotel and Casino offers historic luxurious accommodations, 24-hour gaming action, the Gentleman's Bar, Great Dining at Bully's Restaurant, and Seth's Cellar. For anyone interested in learning more about the story, and seeing the locations where paranormal activity has happened, the Bullock Hotel also conducts a ghost tour. We added a link below for the hotel's website and tours. The Bullock Hotel has been the subject of several popular TV shows including, Unsolved Mysteries, and a Halloween special on ghost adventures. Seth Bullock and the Town of Deadwood was also the subject of the HBO TV series Deadwood, starring Timothy Oliphant as Seth Bullock, and Ian McShane as Al Swearingen, owner of the Gem Saloon. So what do you think about the Deadwood Hotel? Let us know in the comments below, and as always please like and subscribe.